guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Carolyn Ford Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about habits and the effect they can have on your life. If you guys don't know already, I'm a huge Tony Robbins fan, and one thing that he said that I heard the other day was that it's not what you do every once in a while that'll have a major effect on your life, it's what you do habitually. So with that said, I started to examine my habits, good and bad. So I'm going to tell you a few bad habits that I'm changing now, and I will also tell you some good habits that I'm going to keep. So some bad habits are lately when I've been waking up, I've been grabbing my phone, turning the alarm off, and then actually checking Facebook. So just like, I think I'm just like too tired to get out of bed, but I'm not like, I don't really want to like go back to sleep. So I would just like scroll, scroll through Facebook. But you know, you don't really have any control of the news that you get on Facebook and you you know anyways it's just not a good way to start your morning because you can run into a lot of stuff that can start your day off in the bad way <laughs> another thing that I had been doing lately habitually was so I had this rule that if I didn't buy anything sweet that I really wanted then and it was around then I could eat it so unfortunately though there's been a lot of like really high quality like I'm a big chocolate fan around and so I've been seriously indulging because this was my old habitual rule and so I realized that I needed to change that and I only need to eat chocolate when I feel like I absolutely need it and no exceptions. <laughs> Some good habits that I've been doing that I want to keep are in the morning I've been doing like a few yoga poses specifically like upward and downward dog and I really like the way that that starts my day off. I feel so much more at peace and happier and I'm going to continue doing that. The other thing that I'm going to continue doing is on the job I really love it when somebody asks me for like water or something and then I like respond really quickly and I'm like yes like yeah I'll get water for you and then I like grab it and like run really quick and like run back with like high energy so I really like that because like people are like whoa I didn't need water like that bad like it's funny like their response so I'm gonna continue doing that because that's just fun <laughs> so what are some habits that you need to cut off completely or eliminate or decrease or what are some habits that you want to add to your life let me know in the comments below and I can't wait to read them all right guys I can't wait to see you next week. Until then, have a wonderful week. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.